Here's what to do if your iPhone keeps turning on and off. Now, if you're trying to basically boot up your iPhone, maybe it turns on, it's on for 10, 20 seconds, and then automatically just shuts down again. There are a few different things that you can do to make sure that you get that fixed or potentially get help to get it fixed. Now, if you're on your iPhone and it's turned on, the first thing that you can do is you can go into your settings, and then let's tap on general. And then we'll scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then you can hit reset here and reset all settings. Potentially there's a bug in your settings that's causing this loop where it just starts up and then fails and then shuts down again. Now, of course, this is only if your phone is turned on. If basically it's turned on and you wanted to force shut it down so that it helps to reboot it down the road, one option you have is the force shutdown. So let's tap the volume up, the volume down, and then tap and hold the power button. So volume up, volume down, and tap and hold. And now if you just keep holding that and you don't necessarily swipe to shut down, it will force shut down your phone and shut down all of the processes that are running on your phone. This sometimes helps if there's any kind of bug or glitch that's causing this infinite loop of shutting down and restarting. Now the other option you have is potentially there are some fail safe items and causing your iPhone not to be able to boot up and run normally. A couple of those are water. If you've gotten water in your iPhone, maybe in the speakers at the very bottom or at the top, if you got some water or moisture in there, it will not turn on your phone until that's fully dried, basically because it doesn't wanna fry all of the circuit boards and everything. This is a fail safe method. The other thing is if your phone got too hot or it is currently too hot. So if you left it on the dash on your maybe car or wherever and it got too hot, it might just shut down your phone until it gets cool enough to boot back up so that it doesn't damage your phone. Now, the last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to plug it into an outlet. Make sure it's in the wall, an outlet in the wall that has a good, stable power source. You're going to leave it there, obviously shut down for maybe an hour or so. See if that battery is gaining and basically, you know, getting better and all that stuff. I've one time basically had my phone in water and it didn't turn on. I kept having issues with it turning on, shutting down, turning on, shutting down. All I had to do was wait about 24 hours until all of that water was dried and then it would turn on and function normally. If it still doesn't turn on, then at that point, you probably just need to take it into Apple, have them run all the diagnostics on your iPhone itself. They'll be able to see if they can fix it. Maybe they'll install a new version of iOS or you just might need to get a new phone. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.